Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me for another video. This is Marquita from At Home with Kita and here I share tips on how to plan a balanced life. So if you're new here, I hope you'll consider subscribing. So we're doing another organizing my week in my planner. I'm actually filming this a little bit early because I want to get a week ahead. I feel like getting a week ahead is always a good idea. So if I can already be planned up for the next week, I think that's going to be a win for me. So I thought I would just go ahead and start today and film today and that way the video is ready one and then also I am already ready and planned for the next week so I'm not like behind or like current you know because usually when I do these videos I'm planning on a Monday for the week okay so today is actually Tuesday so I'll be planned up for next week which again is a win and so what I'm going to do is just fill in as much as I can I don't always know everything because it is a week out um, so we'll write in like all of the standard stuff that I know is happening and anything that isn't necessarily standard that I know is happening and then we'll fill in other things as they come up all right so I'm using the weekly all-in-one layout as you guys know if you're new here that's what I'm using y'all I low-key want to create a new layout and I'm working on some other stuff too I'm just feeling so creative right now and so I try to capitalize on that feeling because that's not always the case so let's just go ahead and get into it all right I'm gonna pull these pages out I found this sticker kit that I had from a box that we did at some point and so I thought I would use these super summery, although it is fall. I just want to go ahead and use these. It's called Abstract Summer. Um, these are our boxes and icons, and they are available, of course, in the store. And so I thought I would use these because they're just so cute. So you guys already pretty much know how I plan. So we're going to first decorate the pages as I always do. And then I'm going to come back and we'll talk through my plans for the week. So let's go. All right, y'all, this is low key, maybe high key. <laughs> One of my favorite sticker sets that I've created. I really, really love that set. It's so cute. It's so cute. So I went ahead and decorate everything up, as you can see. Added some highlighting. Because I just, I think it gives it just a little bit of extra oomph. You know what I mean? 
And so now we're ready to write in all of our plans. That was easy. See, that's why I love a good sticker set, you know? Because you don't have to think about too much. All you're doing is literally just laying stickers down. You know what I mean? So I'm going to go ahead and cover this up because remember this is my meal planning section this is my word of the week and this is bills and I'm gonna see if I can find a sticker for this and then this is cleaning and I know I have some stickers that can cover that inside of the watercolor floral sticker book so, we'll find that real quick. All right. As usual, we're gonna go across the top, find out what our bills are and write those in. Got a lot of bills coming up this week and actually, I want to date this also, so I'm going to go back into that same sticker book and find the date dots. It's the week of the 25th. I'm trying to find one that I already started, so I don't have to start a new one, but I might have to start a new one. All right, here we go. I'm missing the 29th and the 30th. Oh, here we go. Okay. So let me put something to mark the page. Okay, grab my tweezers, which I just had. All right, I'm all dated up. All right, so let's start with the bills. So I've got a bunch of stuff going on next week. All right, those are all my bills. So now let me write in my habits. All right, habits are done. Now we can write in our cleaning. Okay, our ministry. All right, I'm just gonna write in the week of This is for my top three. I'm gonna figure that out. This is for menu. Then we do Monday through Sunday. And this is our word of the week for me and for Addison. Okay, so now we can start filling in all of the other stuff. So I've got all the top stuff done. And so now we'll fill in everything that we know is going on during the week. So standard stuff first. So the top line is always my, my uh, study schedule for my meetings. So I'm gonna write that stuff in first. so much easier to just write in all of my standard stuff and then come back through and write in all of the other appointments and things like that. So Addison was doing a tennis academy and she wanted to stop, but I'm gonna put her back in it. 
I, want her, I really want her to love tennis like I do, but it's not taking for some reason. So, of course, I'm not going to force her, but I really just want her to love it. So, I guess that's typically what p parents do, right? You, um, you put them in things and then, you know, see what they think. And some stuff they end up liking, but it's all because you kind of not force them, but you encourage them to get involved in it. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so Thursday, standard stuff. Okay, and I have USTA. Alright, Friday, we're going to do lunch with my girl. Alright, what else? Ministry. I like to have a random to-do list sometimes in my planner, you guys. And that way I can just write down some things as I, as I think of them. It's just my mind, it just goes crazy sometimes and just thinks of random things. So I like to have a spot for that. So there's, oh, Thanksgiving break is next week. So I need to indicate that. just to fill in all the other stuff. Okay, and I'm doing something on Saturday. Well, actually, yep, Saturday. USTA match. Okay, and then Sunday is our meeting. And I don't think I have anything else going on. Hey, you guys. That, I think that's it in terms of what I need to add to my calendar for the week. Oh, besides my meals, but I won't know that yet because I'm not doing that until Sunday. Remember, we're just getting a week ahead. Um, let me go ahead and write in my top three and then highlight those things that I know are coming up, which I want to highlight the 25th because that's when Thanksgiving break starts. And I just want to know that in my mind. And then Saturday doing that. Um, with friends. Sunday I may do volleyball. I'm gonna write that in too. Okay. Anything else that stands out? I need to highlight on the calendar. Doesn't look like it. So my top three are I don't have that much going on this week, y'all. I love when weeks are like this. But it's just kind of low-key. So just really game box on Saturday. All right, and then I'll put my arrows here to indicate the leftover days. 
right? So I know what to write in. I won't know my word of the week yet until Sunday when I really sit down. That's when I usually plan as well as like my presentation and um, scripture and all of that stuff because remember we're a week ahead. I love this layout. It's so cute and fun. It's so cute and fun. And again, I know it is fall. And and usually I like to go for the fall type vibes, but so cute. And while I'm also trying out a new pen, this is available in our shop in multiple colors, not the ink color, but just the pen color. And I love how it writes. Um, so I'll make sure again to link everything like I usually do. So that way I can beat you guys with the questions and it's already ready for you. So that's my spread for the week. So cute, right? Don't you love it? I, I, I really love it. So let's go ahead and put it in my planner. And I love the fact that I'm going to be a week ahead. I'm not going to do my business and social media planner today because um, I don't really feel like it. <laughs> so we'll actually do that on Sunday. And that's pretty simple. You guys have seen that multiple times. I just literally put the sticky note on write in what the videos are and i'm i'm kind of sure what they are for next week but i'm i haven't confirmed them yet so until i confirm them they're just they're just kind of in notion waiting for me to decide and then i'll have to create my outlines and all of that stuff so i'll just wait for next week to plan in that planner but this is how everything turned out for my catch-all planner again super duper cute i'm probably going to start to create some more boxes and icons it's about time um, that i do that because you saw how easy that was and i still have a few more stickers left um, if i just wanted to pop them in somewhere else i could so these are just just so functional and easy to use so i was able to complete my whole entire spread just using those two sheets of stickers so this is it for the week you guys so happy to be a week ahead so now when i start my week monday i'm good to go and the monday the video will go up on monday for that week and so next week when i film my monday sit down and organize my planner with me then I'll be able to plan for the next week. So I'll always be a week ahead, okay? And so now on Sunday, all I have to do is my work planner. So I'll sit down and I'll fill in all of the things I have to do for work. This is how it's looking so far for this week. I got a lot going on, a lot to do. And, um, and then I'll have to do my menu plan for the week. All right, so that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you sticking around and hopefully you were inspired in some way, which means you'll give me a thumbs up on this video. And if you're new here, you'll consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, come back and join me again for another video. All right, in which case, I'll see you guys then.